only darkness inside of me I wish I could find you, but I can't see Like a flower needs the rain I need your love to help me kill my pain I wanna find you All right, we are back with the last game of tonight between Vemos Commandos and Illumination Empire. We're doing the last game no matter what problems Twitch has, but so we can show you the entertainment. But I'm going to be Shadow, one of your casters joined by me on the casting desk. We'll be, hey, it's Blitz from last week. What is hey, what's up? up? I got to see three sentences last week. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get in a few more this time around. Uh... That's, a, that's a pretty bold statement. Do you, really think you, do you really think I'll let you do that? Maybe. It depends on how hyper you're feeling. Oh, okay. <laughs> but as we get into Champion Select here, we're going to be seeing two bands already off the table. It's going to be Aurelia and Kama. We saw the Kama form last game by Galbi. So the Kama was pretty potent, and that will be taken off the table. Really helped out his team. And the Ziggs giving uh, Eno, playing Ziggs, playing it very well against Forsaken Dream is going to be taken off the table. Otherwise, what else bands do you think we'll be seeing here? Uh, we'll probably see a Kaisa ban just because Kaisa is really strong in general in the meta right now. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure about anything else because I don't really know these teams in particular because I was not <laughs> here for the past few games. Okay, so he, he, here's the crash course, right? Both these teams played extremely good games today. It was Illumination Empire finishing the game before 20 minutes, 19, I think 39 against Forsaken Dreams, playing an extremely nice comp. Um, with the Ziggs. So they played Ziggs in the mid lane by Eno, and he basically took Inno to, I think, 10 minutes in. Inno, Inno to mid lane. That's something. Also, the Nocturne ban, what is this? Oh, okay. So that was last game, Beamless Commandos versus Forsaken Dreams, and, and introducing played the Nocturne and played it splendidly. Um, yeah, base Yeah, there's a Kaisa pick. Not a Kaisa ban, as you thought, but it's, it will it, be. She's basically pick ban right yeah. now. Yeah. But yeah, so it is from last game because, yeah, introducing played an extremely good Nocturne last game, and that's why they're going to ban it out. Otherwise, the Mundo ban is from You Are Being Muted, muted who also played an extremely good Mundo game um, his, on their game versus Forsaken Dream. So there's that. Um, otherwise, we do see the Lucian being picked up by Bronze Gatekeep. So this is actually really interesting. Uh, Demon King uh, 4, he played Sejuani in his game, but so Bronze Gatekeeper was the support in the first game, and they had a wall swap and also a sub because their AD carry hat was not available to play the second game. So now they have MST Negate. Really interesting. But, so you, uh, Bronze Gatekeeper played Thresh in the first game, and is now going to be playing Lucian in the bot lane. But all right, so uh, we have a Sejuani pick here, which is probably one of the better picks for uh, dealing with Kaisa because just armor stacking is absurd on that champion. But uh, I, it's also probably not damage. one of the better picks overall, and it might it might make us presume that they're going for a more team fight based comp rather than skirmishing. But we'll have to see later on in the yeah. And with Bima's commandos picking up the Taric. I, 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 w I want to see a Massey Yi, but with the Echo being locked in, I do not think we're probably going to see a uh, Massey Yi, but I we think are... that... Oh. Is that going to be an Echo mid or an Echo top? I would like to lean towards Echo mid due to the fact that Echo mid is just kind of better <laughs> in all aspects. We have seen Echo jungle a little bit arising, but we are going to see the Assassin matchup in the mid lane. Echo versus Talon. Who do you think will win the Assassin matchup? Uh, I'm not too sure about Echo's, uh, early game, but I feel like Talon, Talon should win that, but he needs to get an item first. Mm, okay. I'm not too, I feel like Echo has better base damages overall, but, like, if Talon gets a Duskblade or Yomu's, then he'll start winning the trades more. Well, that, also but, going with Ignite, so. Yeah, so. That's spicy. 
So we are going to see second band phase going through. Urgot band is going to be taken off the table. Handsome Jack did play Urgot last round. Did not really make a good showing on it, but it is on his top lane champion pool. So they are going to take it out of his kind of potential picks against the non-existent top lane pick that I thought was already picked. Okay, that's happening. But <laughs> So we do see kind of Mira's mid lane, AD carry, and junglers are going to be uh, go already picked up. So these bands are going to be mainly towards the top lane as due to the fact that support, not really that influence, influential of a role. I would like to see maybe a Wakan ban due to the fact that Wakan is such a good support, but not looks like looks like we are not going to see that uh, from Illumination no, at I'm least. Angry. Though there is that Alistar heads up. We're noticing a lot more bands trying to take out their top laner rather than the jungler. I'm well, at least on elimination side, but I'm not too sure if this has anything to do with the skill of Bemo's top laner, or if they're just like they're more afraid of a top lane champion than a jungle champion coming out. Hmm. So, I well, feel like eh, Nami yes. pick though. That's pretty good for Lucian, but. Getting the three auto buffs is actually really good because he'll do things like auto dash and then auto twice again because yeah. of his passive. But and he'll probably run press the attack or conquer. I'm not sure which one yet. We'll have to see later. But yeah, it just oh kind of... the orn pick. <laughs> good. It's a really good blind pick. Very tanky. Uh, helps out the team. Doesn't really doesn't have too many bad matchups though. Can get punished. So not the too bad for him. If they do somehow get to late game, like really late game, that Orn is not going to have a fun time as he no longer has a passive to buff himself up. He no longer has base damage to help him out as huh? everyone has the level. like His Blitter level, was a lot uh, of damage. Yeah. But it's like, th and there's no reason for him to stack damage anyway. Yeah. Because it looks like they're trying to play more or protect the ADC comp here, which is pretty good with Kai'Sa. Hmm. So. But. Jax? Jax against the Orn. And oh, I was I hoping Lucian top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jax, Jax Lot. Jax Lot. That's, that's why they have the Nami. That's why they have the Nami. It's uh, to help the Jax. But, so, I've seen this matchup a few times. What? TP? Uh, Lucian? Yes. Yeah. Yes, really? he will. Yeah, uh, you take TP bot lane when you think the matchup won't be as hard. Uh, Kaiser Tarek isn't going to really pressure a Lucian, definitely. So the, uh, it, it's debatable, but yeah. So TP is mainly taken when you don't think the when you don't think you need to heal. That that's basically the thing. It helps you get back to lane faster and just helps you kind of gain an edge, especially if you TP into like the lane when both bot lanes are backing. It does help you out a lot. So you can kind of see that. Also. So I've seen this Jax versus Orn matchup a few times, and every time I've seen it go Orn's way. Um, Orn's base damage is insane, and Jax just isn't able to kind of have the damage in the early game to cut through the tankiness of Orn. But I still believe Jax has the... I, I, even despite all the times I've seen Jax lose this lane, I still think Jax has the winner. I, I still think Jax does do well in this lane, but... I believe that Orn wins it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he's evidence has shown. He's a knockup. Uh, he has all sorts of slows. Jax really doesn't have too much base damage, and although he does have an escape option over Orn, he he just doesn't have the damage output early enough without an item. Mm. So it'll basically know. come down to how safe the top laners are playing for that lane matchup. Yeah, I mean, like, Jax has a counter strike, right, which dodges auto attacks, but he does not abuse auto. Yeah, yeah, he does not really use auto attacks too much, other than parking Buddha, of course. But I don't know. I, I still feel like I still stand by the fact that Jax should do well into one, but I, I mean, like in 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 theory, but in practice, no, no, yeah, not at all. It's so much harder for Jax to be better than Orn in practice. But yeah. uh, so next up, we have the jungle. Oh boy, <laughs> this oh is going to be an interesting jungle as Siobhan is likely going to be farming for half the game. And I'm not um, sure what Sejuani does in the jungle, so. Well, so with the recent buffs to Sejuani, she got AP ratios on her E and her W, and also the fact that her she can now proc E subsequently, like without any uh, penalty, like she there's no cooldown. People are now going Runic Echoes on Sejuani. At least from what I've seen. Um, last last Sejuani Demon King uh, four did not go Cinder Hulk. Uh, did did go Cinder Hulk. So I would assume that he's going to go Cinder Hulk this game. But I mean, you, you never know, of course. So 
I mean, taking but, the runic echoes for the early damage could actually help out yep. uh, his top lane or bottom lane. Not really his bottom as much, but just for that little bit of edge that they need that Shivana usually won't give in the early game might actually have Illusion winning this game. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... A small gold lead, that farm lead, push lead, burning TP, all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely it. But we also have to kind of do note the fact that in the mid lane, once again, I want to go back to this assassin matchup. I feel like if either one of these assassins get rolling, it's going to be very, it's going to be game over. Um, It's like, I, I'm trying to imagine somebody that can probably stop these assassins. And the only ones that I can think of, right, is Owen and Sejuani. Uh, and honestly, I feel like it's a lot worse if Echo starts to snowball rather than Talon. Because Talon is noticeably more squishy, although dealing more damage, he doesn't really have an escape option other than parkour. But <laughs> <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> but the biggest problem there is that, like, if he isn't able to kill Kaisa fast enough, he's likely gonna get bursted down into oblivion with uh, Ord and Tarek probably covering Kaisa. Mm. But. I mean, that Tarek might be able to get that Cosmic Radiance, Radiance off and protect his carries. But the question is, how? I mean, like, can he protect his carries before they get bursted down? Because when you think of Lucian, when you think of talent, you think of burst damage. You think of hardcore, just immediately burst um, damage. But And Tarek ulti takes 2.5 seconds to come down. I mean, yeah. okay, but we do see Lucian picking up the uh, plus the attacks. So okay. it, it, he is going to be more, going for more kind of a sustained damage build. It looks like that means he's also going to be particularly aiming at one person in a fight, which mm -hmm. usually isn't the best option when you're an ADC and likely going to get dived by at least three <laughs> different champions on the enemy team, but... I mean, Echo Shavana already. Yeah, and then there's... Uh, Orange should probably be helping Tarek with protecting Kaisa in the backline by pulling out a CC, but you never know when he plays like me and just goes in and completely forgets about his AD carry and then you lose the team fight and then lose your Nexus, but... <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> but so yeah, we're gonna see um, these teams start out, and we're gonna see some interesting adaptation with Owen um, not actually picking up anything. He's gonna pick up two pots. <laughs> so well, I mean, that's one way to start off a uh, lane. I, I think the reasoning here is that he wants the potions and the uh, control ward for his safety, right? He wants the potion. And then throughout the lane, he's going to buy items that gives it, that helps him in the lane. I think that's the reasoning. I mean, so he can actually... Sense, since, like, with the refillable pot, he's able to heal a lot more at the start. The control ward keeps him safe from potential early ganks. And while he's sitting there farming gold, Jax will have to recall, go all the way back, burn his TP just to get into lane which will overall probably take about 10 seconds. And in those 10 seconds, Orn will be pushing and farming. Mm -hmm. And he can buy items basically whenever he wants, as long as he backs up enough. Mm -hmm. So We're also going to see Negate picking up the coin, which is quite interesting um, due to the fact that it is, he's going to be looking for more of a passive lane, not really um, kind of just getting the coins and farming, which is quite interesting where you see Spell Thief's Edge being the preferred. <laughs> Um, kind of starting item for Nami, but I guess he's just going to go for that instead. Also, Kai'Sa picking up the Dawn's uh, blade. She oh, thinking that he's going to take so a lot of post damage. We do actually. So right here, here's something really important. Demon King's already taking the Raptors of uh, introducing, which is really good because Raptors are probably Boom. meanwhile in the middle in, lane yeah in the mid lane it, he goes back in with the face mm. dash and ends up taking uh taking his own life and and oh did not deserve to get that kill but gets it in the end so that was actually a fairly calculated play by illusion so like, calculated even if, oh my god <laughs> so even if gulby tg didn't go back in Demon King the Fourth is actually able to sit there after taking Raptors and dive in and just take the kill for himself with a nice little dash. Yeah, perhaps. Really low and that's all he really needed. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I mean, we also kind of do see Handsome Jack being at a disadvantage in the top lane. Already burned both his potions, um, already pushed up to his turret. And this is kind of the danger of only starting potions. And um, perhaps he will get an item, but it's not as good as Muted having already still having two potions of his corrupting, uh, corrupting potion. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. But Eno already showing a really nice showing in this mid lane, really showing up. Uh, and. This is actually oh. the opposite of what I thought. In the top lane, we do oh. see introducing, actually ganking. You are being muted. Gets slowed up. Going to use the counter strike to oh. stun up on Bella's breath isn't going to do much. Flash oh, coming no. out from Shavana. Flash from you are being muted. And he's going to get turned. Tower is going to take down introducing. While said you want, he's going to chase down with the red buff. Trying to get the four stacks. Isn't going to be able to get the dash up. Is actually going to flash forward. Going to get the stack. Going to stun him up. Oh not God. going to be close enough. Counter Strike's going to miss. Tower is going to be hitting. Not going to kill you are being muted. And he's going to go back <laughs> in. Not going to do much. <laughs> and that's going to be the end of this gank. But, oh man, in the end, one kill going over to Illumination. Alright, so, uh, oh, I was saying Illusion, haven't I been? Well, I'm an idiot, but either way. <laughs> so, yeah. Illumination's getting that strong lead they needed. I guess I really underestimated Talon's base damage. But, uh, we see you're being muted, already picking up two long swords, whereas Handsome Jack has a control ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hasn't. How much? Hold on. How much? Yeah, he has eight hundred gold, and he could probably spend that to make get maybe a cloth on or something just to help him fight against you being muted. But he's not even gonna back. I don't. I. <laughs> he's not gonna really he buy. Really he, should back. He can. He can buy whenever he wants. It's. It's not. There's no cooldown for. There's no, there's no cooldown for living forward. Just yeah, so I'm, I'm not. Yeah, he's just gonna back to heal up, but. Yeah, so the reason why we're actually seeing mid lane such a discrepancy is that Eno, uh, Bino, in the last game played Ziggs, and he played extremely well on the Ziggs, but meanwhile, Galbi was playing against the Vladimir. Oh, we're going to see a gank in the mid lane. Demon King actually not going to be able to get anything, but um, Galbi was trying to face Vladimir as Karma and just kept dying and dying and dying against Vladimir. Um, just disrespecting Vladimir's damage and just getting solo kills. So, I mean, we're seeing that discrepancy here. Despite these teams kill- Oh my god, as the oh. flash comes out, and that's a hit solo kill! Full hands of Jack, that was extremely nice after getting the Glacial Shroud, but- Not only that, but, like, he still has enough HP, he can stay. He does not have to back him, uh, he does not yeah, have to back again, definitely. mostly because he already TP'd in. And, but... uh, your being leader does not have TP, so he has to take the long walk all the way back to get farm. Just while Handsome Jack sits there and gets all the CS he wants, but he does pick up a Tiamat, so... Also, yeah. gonna point out, Bing Bong decided to choose Doran's Shield over Doran's Blade, and it's actually working out pretty well because they're playing defensive. Yeah. Though he, the, the, yeah, the mana, I mean, these two AD carries are actually exactly the same, health-wise, of course, even CS-wise, so... Definitely with the Dawn Shield, I mean, we've seen Buns, Geek, Kepa trying to make a lot of trades, but that's not really working against the Dawn Shield, but we do see Handsome Jack in this mid lane, and Obino is going to go in with the Ignite, going to be able to take out Galbi, but Handsome Jack's going to trade it back with Call the Forge Guide, and worth? <laughs> worth? No. No? Okay. That is actually in, in my opinion, that is in Illumination's favor, simply because Handsome Jack wasted his ulti for that. Oh, okay. Maybe some more fighting. Okay. But <laughs> so, despite getting a small bit to like bring back from their point of deficit, he no longer has ulti to trade with you're being mm -hmm. muted. Yeah. So that might be a serious problem when you're being muted hits six and starts pressuring him in lane a bunch. So Yeah. Also I think the note is the fact that Eno actually got the kill, but Handsome Jack got the kill as well. So even though Handsome Jack is okay to get the kill on he's just gonna get tankier but eno is really the one that we're gonna be highlighting right he's the assassin he's gonna be killing everybody and he's gonna probably make a bigger impact in this game than handsome jack i mean the assassin was of course too i mean so it looks like galvey's already absurdly behind that he used to start yeah. building sort of semi-tanky as he is not only at a 30 cs deficit but it's two kills down yeah he's 1200 gold down right now currently but Especially with Bino taking up that Moby Boots. I mean, he's going to be roaming around the map. He's looking for kills. And, like, you can see that in positioning of Demon 
uh, Demon King. He is walking into the jungle right now. Gonna be meeting introducing. Though introducing is already level six. Bino is gonna be spotted on a wood. They're gonna be looking to fight maybe over this mountain drake and start it. Otherwise, looks like all tensions are gone. Well, now it's simply come down to boring landing phase where everyone just starts CSing until one of them decides to move. I'm okay with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with this too, because now I get to talk. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I do want to note that Twitch is working again. Um, the kind of the refresh doesn't affect people anymore. It's not. It's back up, and there's no problems with Twitch anymore. So, not looking too bad. Right, we we see a couple of. Yeah, okay. In this top lane, we do see introducing, inversing it. You are being muted. Call of the Forge God. Counter Strike oh. is going to stun up Handsome Jack. Not going to be able to get the second. Well, it does look like the dragon is going to be going on. Plus, the attack is going to be blocked and he's going to go down. Demon King 4 is here in the top lane, but not going to be looking to do anything else. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, Bonds Gatekeeper, the calling is going to go out. And nothing else is really going to be happening as Tarek is there to dissuade stuff. But. It is going to be introducing, going to be pressuring this top lane with Handsome Jack. So, All right, looks so like... right here, Handsome Jack is winning the lane, but that doesn't matter nearly as much as Enobino winning his lane, especially with how hard of a lead Enobino is. Yeah, nothing's really going to be happening. In the top lane, TP came out from you are being muted. In the bot lane, more fighting is going to be happening. Is The tidal wave is going to be coming. They're going to be chasing down and introducing, looking for the kill. And it is going to be going over to Demon K King 4. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, the fight did go off. T Flash coming out from Tarek, but okay, nothing else is going to be burned just yet. Bond's Gatekeeper is looking for more as he's going to get stunned. Not going to get stunned up. Cosmic Way is plus bubble is going to be going down, but nothing else is going to be changed as the invulnerability is going to do that. Is going to dissuade anything, but with the title call as blessing, he might be going for more, but un unfortunately, he's not going to be. Well, unfortunately for us, but oh. Enobino is here. Flash is going to be burned, but he's going to flash himself. Going to take down Bing Bong. TP is here, but they are actually going to be surrounded themselves. Taylor has no mana, and he's going to go down to the Ignite. That's a oh. double kill for Bino. They're going to be trying to chase over to Handsome Jack, but he's too tanky to get so. And they're going to be trying to run away from this fight, but he is very strong himself. Shavana is on the way, though. They'll look, and she's going to be going to clubs. So, with this, they're just... Okay, why? why? It's not over just yet, <laughs> but actually it is. I lied, sorry. Okay. Oh, never mind, okay. <laughs> so, I, this is really important. Enobino went down bot and took two kills. Which not only gives Bronze Gatecapper and negate the assist for a little bit of an edge they need in the bot lane along with kills and the absurd amount of farm they already have, but Enobino also snowballs his lane too. Mountain Drake's going down. <laughs> Mountain Drake. <laughs> and Mountain Drake, I, I'm not too sure about this Mountain Drake. Um, it is good for Shavana's passive, she does get armor and stuff, but if you look at the team comp of um, Bima's commandos, they don't really take down objectives too fast. I mean, Kaisa's very good at that. So, I mean, there's that. And They need Kaisa to not be dead and not be dead. <laughs> so. And first, so it's going to be going over to you are being muted. And that's very strong. Um, due to the time Ooh. that, oh my god, Call of God is going to be going down in the mid lane. And Parallel Convergence is not going to get the stun. He's going to be able to pull a call out of there. That's going to be the glacial prison happening in the mid lane. And that's a turn. Zonius is going to go out. That's actually the stopwatch. And it looks like Handsome Jack is going to be all by himself. But who's going to be the one getting caught out here? As he is looking for the kill on an Obino. Shadow no, he comes did. out. He's at extreme level shade. The flash oh, comes out, but he kills. He kills Handsome Jack, but not before trading his own life. And Galvi is powerless to do anything. Still has the chrono break. Is not gonna Demon King 4 is not gonna be going any further. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, we saw some fighting. Nothing else is gonna go from that. But Bronze Gatekeeper is looking for blood. But not <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> So Illumination very slightly lost that trade, and that was sim <laughs> that was simply because Eno had a bounty on him at the time. Yeah. So okay. it, it's more of the order of death because. Oh, Eno Handsome Jack was... also had. Uh, no, no, Handsome Jack also had bounty. They both had five hundred. No, 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 no. But the thing is, oh. Handsome Jack died first. Honor the mountain. So, right. So that means oh, they only got the bounty for having him have three kills rather than four, and Enobino ended up dying with a bounty of five kills rather than four. So, 
It, it's a lost trade for illumination, but I feel like in the end it's gonna be worth oh. it. Oh. Introducing, gonna be Negate, and it is gonna be chasing down Red Smite, plus Dragon's Ascent is gonna be chasing out Negate, pops the exhaust, pops the flash, and now Lucian is all by himself with no mana, and Talon is here to fight, not gonna get stunned up, gonna go on the tail, Cosmic Radiance is gonna be going down, and gonna be get to sweat, Demon King 4 is here, plus the Echo is gonna be roaming down, this is gonna be turning into a 4v4 very soon, Talon is still here for Blood Echo has jumped over the wall, and this is a 2v5 currently with the bot lane being gone. So, Talon is all by himself. Glacial Prison is going to land on the Shavana, and now it is going to be Terra going to go down. Ter Tidal Wave is going to knock up two. Shavana is going to fall, and Demon King 4 is not going to be able to pick up Echo. Now, Lucian is here, has enough mana to kill the Kai'Sa. So Bubble is going to lit secure the kill. Nami is going to be chasing up for another one. Not going to really want to chase an Echo, though. And that's going to be, I think, a one for three. No, I'm sorry. Echo does want this. Flashes away, and it, oh my god. Oh my Freaking god. red health. But parallel convergence is gonna go out. Not gonna hit anything. Gonna dissuade the members of Illumination Empire, and they're gonna walk away, one for three. <laughs> All right, so they'll be getting a little bit greedy there, going for something he really shouldn't be, but it's kind of necessary when you're playing from behind. But he overextended most definitely. They're almost getting himself killed once again. Yeah, he's and that one for three trade. Despite it being Enobino being the one who died, he no longer had a bounty. Oh my, like, oh my god. What? The, oh. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but the bounty you know? no longer really mattered as much, especially since uh, they got rid of Shivana. Oh which no. Reduces Jack. control in the jungle. Well, that fight caused nothing. <laughs> <laughs> They're walking around each other. Uh oh. No, you, you can parkour. Just parkour. Yeah, parkour! <laughs> but, but uh. Effectively. That was better overall pressure-wise, although Enobino did lose another another life of his, which he's going to have an infinite store of because of the way the game works. Sorry for me being an idiot. But uh, it's still oh. worth it because obviously getting the gold for three kills, although not worth quite as much because they haven't picked up a single kill this game to reset their gold work, uh, really just reduces the value and pressure of introducing overall Giving Demon King the fourth the lead he needs just to run around and do whatever he wants. Alright. So we're gonna see Oh my god, that damage coming out from Bronze Gate Kepa. But we might see a dive in the spot lane. Talon is here, gonna be jumping on, gonna be using a little bit of damage, and now they're gonna be surrounded. He's gonna jump on Kaisa. Kaisa's gonna get immediately busted down. DP's gonna come out from Handsome Jack, gonna cancel it, and now it's gonna be Tarek falling next. Parallel Convergence is gonna be using to dissuade anything. It's gonna be with Tilt Summon top lane, and you are being muted, gonna try to defend <laughs> oh this. He's gonna be able to, yeah, the tower's gonna be going down to Rift Tilt, and that's gonna be a turret for turret trade, but that's two lives of Bimo's commandos being traded for I I don't know. So yeah, Bimo once again lost their bot lane just to Enobino showing up with the powerful lead he has and Galbi not being able to do anything because he's a wave pushing in. Uh mm. what is Demon King doing now? Oh, we might be looking at a dive here. It is introducing Mrs. The, Mrs. the Glacial Prison. It is gonna be Echo all by himself. Gonna get stunned up. Parallel conversion stuns Demon King. And it, it the Dragon Ascent will be coming out plus the call of the Forge God. And it is gonna be Demon King falling. And, and Obino is gonna jump in flash forward on Chevana. It is gonna be you are being muted here as well. And now the bot lanes are gonna be joining this shortly. But right now it's only one in favor of Bemo's commandos. And after that, it it will be Bloods Gatekeeper trying to play a little bit aggressively looking for Handsome Jack. Otherwise, nothing else is going to be happening. Dragon is going to be spawning in five seconds. It is a Mountain Drake. All right, so that is most definitely a lost trade for <laughs> having draw Having basically gained nothing except maybe a couple summoners or ults here and there. And losing Demon King with his jungle pressure. And without jungle pressure, especially when it's a second Mountain Drake, and with Shivana able to get that extra armor off with this, it might be Demon King's up again, but it's like... Oh cool. man, Demon King, it, I mean, Handsome Jack is going to get the knockoff on two members of Illumination Valiant while Vino is trying to fight the dragon in the bot, bot side. It will be muted trying to face out Galby, who is trying to wave clear this top lane, and Handsome Jack is going to try his best to 
back, but is going to get cancelled. Going to take huge amounts of damage. Blindscape keep Kepa is looking for blood. They're looking for this mid lane to it. It will be Enobino trying to take out Handsome Jack. Going to burn the flash and the Dragon set is going to go on the members of Illumination Empire. And the gate is going to be fall first one to fall. Bino is going to be trying to um trying to threaten something but in the top lane muted is going to be trying to fight galby as he's going to get chunked out with the red buff on muted so he's going to be looking for the dive Kona break is available to him but this mountain drake is probably going to be the next target of either team it looks like drake is going to be going to uh bmo's right here with just the uh, positioning overall but you never know with the power of Sejuani, she could probably get a good ulti off on introducing if she shows up soon enough. TP comes out yeah, from Galbi. Demon King has a glacial push and is gonna oh. not walk up. Gonna gonna get secured by Galbi. Lucian is by himself on the backside. Bino's gonna get out. Cosmic Radiance hits full. And that's gonna be now the members of Bimo's commandos chasing the members. Lucian's gonna be flashing in the bot lane and gonna get chased out. Meanwhile, Tilk is gonna fall in the front lane. Lucian's gonna fall as well. Kaisa has died to the talent. Hourglass is going to come out for the echo, but he's going to fall right after Wood. Shavon and fall to the duo of Sejuani and Talon, and that's four for one in favor of Illumination Empire. Just a complete wipe, except for Orn because Handsome Jack's having fun in the top lane getting his farm. But uh, Handsome Jack could have TP'd down, which is an interesting choice for him to not make, seeing that the fight was definitely going to be a loss and not deciding to risk his own life and burning a summoner spell just to get a little bit of gold for the team. Hmm. Not, sh I feel like if Handsome Jack showed up earlier, that fight might have been in the favor of Bemos Commandos, but Illumination was able to take it just because of the superior gold lead being nearly 10k at this point, which is rough. Yeah, and this has been the pattern all today. Like, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, at, I think at 15 minutes, every game has had at least a 10k gold lead. Um, oh, at least at least by 20 minutes. I know guaranteed at 20 minutes, maybe not 15, but close. So, but, insane. Uh, so, gonna go back to looking at the CS difference. Uh, top lane, 50 CS, 55 CS in the your beating muted. Uh, oh, oh no, Vino is looking for the Kaiser and it's just gonna get busted down. <laughs> Tarek is here, gonna miss the stun. Echo is here as well. He's gonna try doing his parkour out of this one. Electric is gonna take him down. That's gonna be shut down gold going over to Echo, and that's what he needs. And Obino just got greedy there. He wanted another kill. He wanted more for his KDA. Oh, Halo Convergence is gonna get charged up. Isn't gonna stun anybody. Gonna be trying to face the bot lane of Illumination Empire. He's gonna miss the stun from Tarek and he's gonna phase dive forward and actually he's gonna get dissuaded by the book. But wow, this game. All right, back to looking at farm advantage and disadvantage. In the jungle, we see Demon King behind on 41, which is quite interesting considering that introducing doesn't even have boots yet. And instead decided to just go for a frozen mallet. Not sure if that was the best decision, but it looks like in the long run it's been working a little bit better. Uh, in the mid lane, as expected, Anobino has an absurd lead on Galbi in another way. With um, 44 CS ahead. Bot lane bronze gatekeeper is doing just a bit better. Uh, at least farm wise, because KDA wise, we already see Bing Bong basically screwed themselves. But... And then, obviously, farm difference doesn't really matter too much in support as Relic Shield. Although Relic Shield does give him a noticeable amount of gold, it doesn't matter enough right now. Oh man, Demon King 4 looking for this Echo. Negate is walking aggressively forward, and it is going to be fight in this top line muted versus Handsome Jack, and the Counter-Strike is going to stun him up, and this damage is going over in favor of Muted, and he's going to be chasing. Call of Forge God is going to come out to dissuade the member. Going to knock up Muted, going to be looking, trying to escape, but is going to get flash on, going to get killed. It is going to be Galway here. Pillow Convergence is going to stun up, and he's going to probably go down as a shutdown goal. Baron is going to get started by the members of Illumination Empire. Shavana is nowhere near currently. She's going to suspect this. Going to be walking towards the Baron as it's already half HP. speed. They're going to be trying to turn on Shavana mm. as she showed. The Glacial Prison plus Tidal Wave is going to take her down. Dragon's Ascent is going to try to get her out plus Flash and she's going to be burning down from the red buff. Galway is here to fight but not having the damage. Going to get stunned but going to fall and now he's going to pay the life. Uh, pay the 
pay the cost of what introducing had tried to do and that is going to be going over in favor of illumination empire so illumination not getting the baron there obviously a massive loss of time and uh yeah, mostly time, but it doesn't matter too much, especially since although the gold lead has dropped down from 9k, well, actually, it's still 9k, but a little bit down from 9k. <laughs> and uh, they burn time, but the time doesn't. Oh, almost fighting. Demon King is gonna walk over to this tier, gonna stun him up. Stun is gonna land, and it is gonna be Handsome Jack knocking up two members. Gonna get stunned up once again. Bubble is gonna land, and this is gonna be a fight. Call of Forge God is gonna be coming out. Not gonna be coming out before these two members hit the blast gun. And now Demon King 4 is gonna be running. However, reinforcements have a vibe. Bronze Gatekeeper is here to fight, but Demon King is gonna get immediately pushed down. Three man bubble coming up from three man Kyle Shank is gonna be following up. Cosmic Lady lands on. Three. No more damage is gonna be allowed for now. Cosmic Lanus has been gone, and Bing Bong is gonna be the next to fall. Now the members are gonna get stunned up by a three-man counter strike, and Dragon Set is gonna pick up Lucian, but he's gonna fall as well. Handsome Jack is gonna be running for his life. Flash is good, but Paul Crow is the winner of this fight. He but he's gonna fall and trade his life, but Mutant is gonna trade his life as well. And Cry to kill going over to you are being muted. Oh my god, was that a great fight played by Illumination? Despite, uh, I think it was Demon King? Yes. Yeah, Demon King- no, not Demon King. Bronze Gate- yeah, it was the no, it was yeah. Albino burning his life so you were beating Muted to get a quad kill. That is something <laughs> I can respect. But, because of that fight, Illumination has an 11k gold lead, and they have basically every lane- Uh, not really, but they have mid lane pushing out, which is really important because now- <sighs> Now they have to stop in the middle when going back and forth between top and bot lane to get the farm and stop it, especially since they only have inhib tower. But Illumination's gonna have to start attacking these other lanes, because if they don't, then they're just gonna be stuck at a stalemate for a while, and a stalemate is kind of what, uh, what is it? Vemo's oh. commanders want here. Yeah, definitely being able to stall out the game and just kind of play, uh, just kind of scale up, just kind of form up. But it will be the dragon being taken up by Endo introducing, but Terex is going to pay his life for it. Next, <laughs> Endo Bino is going to be Glacial Prison, is going to land, and that's going to be Echo now chasing Kaisa, and Kaisa is going to fall as well. And that's a triple kill going over to Bronze Gatekeeper. There, that, that was a dragon for three members of life, and I'm not sure if that's a worthy trade. Well, so they got the third dragon. Which is really good if they somehow make this last long enough for them to get Elder Drake with Shivana's passive. But introducing has not proven himself to be extremely useful, and especially with Bing Bong being so far behind, I don't think they can bring it back at this point because Bing Bong cannot get the damage output that they were trying to get. And when the main point of a composition is to defend an ADC that's died eight times, they really don't have much to work with. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Especially since their only other main damage source would be Galbi, who. Is also not doing too great, but it's shown a bit of bit of improvement from laning phase. Yeah, definitely. As an hip going down, I do think. Yeah, this is gonna be reset. They probably are going to take their way to Baron. I think that's the next goal. For them so. Yeah, well, uh, we see that we see that Bronze Gatekeeper is going back to finally get some items, having only two at this point in the game. Which Bork and Black Cleaver gives him enough sustain and damage he needs during the fight. We see he's aiming towards a static shiv or rapid fire. I'm gonna assume static, simply because then it gives him more burst damage and rapid fire doesn't matter enough. But uh, Negate's doing his job of making sure Gatekeeper doesn't die in a fight. And Obino's going in really hard on Bing Bong, making sure that they uh, they just don't have time to like damage anyone. And yeah. Yalby is just oh, not able to get This might be a fight as negate. Nope, never mind. I'm lying. Demon King and you are being muted are doing a great job at frontlining right now as Bronze Gatekeeper has not died all that much, having only two deaths. Uh overall. But uh Enobino is kinda doing that job of taking a lot of damage early in the fight. Because what they're trying to do is keep Bing Bong alive, and while wasting all their oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> and it is gonna be a, it is gonna be Handsome Jack being caught out here. Five members, and yeah, that's four members, but yeah, it is gonna be split pushing bot lane. So. so, 
while everyone on BMO's commanders is trying to take down Enobino, they're not busy trying to CC or kill anyone else on the team. So you're being muted, Demon King, Bronze Gatekeeper, and the Gate are able to do basically what they want for free, while Enobino escapes with parkour. <laughs> so oh, cool. The Baron is actually getting given to uh, Simulation for free. And I feel like this basically seals the rest of the game and how it's gonna go. With a 17k gold lead that is likely only going to get worth Baron being taken. Yeah. That that's that's like uh that's a nail in the coffin right there. Yeah, definitely. I just feel like we're at a point where Vemos Commander doesn't have a lot they can do anymore as everyone on Everyone in Illumination is able to do something against it. Except Negate because they're a support, but... <laughs> they're no, likely no. always going to be around Gatecapper or somebody. Except for right now, for some reason, they're splitting top lane, but... They're having people show up. So. They're fine. Vision Control also being in favor of Illumination is really important. As if they're able to deny the vision that Beemo's commander needs... Bebo's commanders doesn't know where they, like, what area is safe, especially since every lane is pushing pretty hard now. And, uh, looks like a small fight might break out. No, oh, it's definitely gonna be, uh, they're gonna be staging on this turret. Introducing, trying to do it, Glacial Pussy is gonna land on Handsome Jack, not gonna do much as the Tidal Wave is gonna land on four members. It is gonna be introducing, trying to take out Lucian in the bot lane, it is gonna be oh, doing it, but Kaisa is gonna fall as well. Nami and Lucian have fallen so far, and Demon King 4 is gonna fall take his life as well triple kill going over to handsome jack next up they're going to be looking towards his bot lane trying to dive it as they're looking to take this in here that is three members already fallen for illumination out. empire they're going to be chasing for these kills but is paul core going to help them out as a double counter strike is going to come out parallel convergence going to stun up but that's going to be introducing falling as well Please. now they're going to be on the what? run jacks with ga is going to be chasing them down no. counter strike is going to be getting set up Flash doesn't do much, and it is he's gonna be looking for Galby. Gonna be using the leap strike. Oh gonna God. try to take out the damage. Not gonna be able to get there. <laughs> Sonia comes out, and it is gonna be an Obino. Plus, you are being muted, actually being taken over. Kais is gonna be going over with the killer. Is it GA is gonna be blocked? And Obino is gonna be running for his life. And now you are being muted. It's gonna trade his life, but no, it's gonna leap strike out of there, and is gonna die to the flash of handsome Jet. And that is gonna be a shutdown gold going over Kais. Holy crap! That was a trade that... That's a trade that Bemo's commanders have been looking for... For about 15 <laughs> minutes, I'd like to say. An inhib? As, well... For like, one singular inhib and... Yeah, I think that's it actually. Just an inhib. They got to... They got to drop four people. Maybe all of the barons. I'm not sure I remember exactly who died. Yeah, yeah. I think they all died. It I don't, was only... It was only Enobino who didn't fall. Enobino didn't die. That's yeah. right. Only one of them gets to keep that Baron, so... We see that gold lead dropping down just a little bit. Now they only have a 13,000 gold lead, so... that that That's not too much, you know? <laughs> just, it's, you know, probably... No, no, it's 16,000. 16,000. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I did my math wrong. Okay. Yeah, Mountain Jake. Third Mountain Duke of this game, probably gonna be taken over, but it's introducing being there. And Obino is in the mid lane, trying to assassinate Bing Bong, actually failed. Dragon Ascent is gonna be going forward, and it's actually not gonna be able to steal, and that's gonna be introducing falling in the Baron Pit. Meanwhile, in the base oh of <laughs> Bimo's Caminos, and Obino is gonna fall, but. <laughs> and not, oh. but. Yeah, not gonna be able to get anything out of that, so. And Obino's noticing he's getting a drop in damage overall uh -oh. as. Uh-oh. Title Calls Pressing is going to be slowing up Galby TG. And now three members are going to be jumping in on the action of the base of Beamless Commandos. They have a Mountain Drake now. Not going to do too, too significant of damage to these towers, but still extra damage. It will be Bond's Gatekeeper being jumped on by Echo. Parallel Convergence is not going to start on Tidal Wave. Hits three. Going to be trying to peel off the Echo, and Glacial Pussing is going to do that successfully as he's going to fall without using the corner blade. Now Counter-Strike is going to be getting onto the backlight. Kaiso is going to be falling here very shortly there it is and one is all by himself by three members and Tarek is not gonna be able to do anything versus the jacks now that's four members actually three now that lucian has fallen but now that is four members on the most commandos that has fallen and it is now only introducing who fell in the dragon pit to defend his base 
so that was actually an insanely smart play by Gatekeeper. Like, although it probably wasn't completely thought out, he went up kind of and made it look like he was sort of alone. So that way, uh, Bimo's commander would go in on him to make the game-winning fight that Illumination needed to finally finish off their Nexus. And Illumination Empire is going to be going... 20,000 gold lead. Yeah, huge gold lead today. Closer game than a little bit longer game than we've been used to today, but it will be Illumination Empire going 2-0. And unfortunately for Bimo's commander, they'll be going 1-1. And even the, the larger loser here is uh, Forsaken Dreams who went 0-2 today. But... The biggest loser is the people that are trying to play this game. <laughs> but if you look at the total damage of champions, you can kind of see that Handsome Jack was trying to carry his hold out, does the most damage on his team, but you can also see that the members of Elimination Empire were playing the hold out, being able to basically be the unstoppable carries that they need that their team need to be. So <clears throat> Well, that was that was a crazy game, if I have to say. Uh, gonna look at some of the charts here, which is, I feel like it's kind of absurd that Handsome Jack ended up doing more damage than Bing Bong, but it's understandable when all Enobino did for about 50% of the game was go in on Bing Bong, so. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for Bing Bong was not able to do much, especially with a, ta a really strong talent on the enemy team. <laughs> But uh, Shmurvy Derb, the Tarek, which I never got to say the name of, which I am Shemian. happy I did now. Shmurb. Shmurb. No, it's Shmurvy Derb. Shmurb. Shmurvy Derb. Shmurvy Derb. Yeah. Also, Bing Bong never got rid of his Doran shield. He he needed protection. Or his ref pot. He needed protection. Yeah, that's a pro. That's he never had anything to sell it for. <laughs> yeah. He was, he was Why at, did he have a large rod? Oh wait, yeah, he's, he's not smart. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's going for Rabadons. Yeah, I don't know why it would go for Rabadons third item, but no, no, it's it's build, don't worry. It's the build. Okay, yes, it's build. I'll just trust it then. Yeah, trust, trust the process. Trust the process. But uh, yeah, that that was kind of absurd. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. So, just like I said, they got the early lead that they wanted, <laughs> and. I also, so remember how I said uh, Echo can snowball harder than Talon? Yeah. I don't, I don't think I believe that anymore. <laughs> you're not, you're a non-believer now? I, I am a non-believer. You're a non-believer, okay. <laughs> Making, yep. Wait, why did Golby build an Iceborne? Golby? Uh, um, he, uh, he was trying to go tank Echo. Why did, but he already had two AP items. No, he wanted to, he, he, 